Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for November 15th to the 21st. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Let's kind of see where we go for you, Aries. What's coming up? We're going to pull some oracles and some tarot. So let's see what's going on for Aries here. All right, we have fire spirit energy, number 17. Bottom of this deck, we have toadstools growth, number 44. It's almost like you're planting seeds is almost what I'm getting off of that, which is kind of an interesting planting seeds for something in your life, possibly. Let's see what else is going on for Aries this week. We have all tied up, number 23, which is kind of like my Eight of Swords energy. And then we have attachment, number five. Interesting. So 23 and uh, breaks down to a five and then attachment is number five. So it's almost like something's maybe holding you back from stepping into something. Some of you may, maybe if you were tied up by something, like you could be breaking free of that for some of you. Others of you are feeling like your energy could be drained or it's like you're putting a lot of time and energy into something that it's like maybe you're starting to feel a little depleted. So let's kind of see what's coming up. I do feel like, you know, you do kind of have your own energy with fire energy here. It, it is coming out for you. Yeah, we have the King of Wands that just came out as the first card. So it's like you're in your energy. But there could be something that you're maybe still attached to or something that you're still stuck with as you're kind of going through this growth or this change. But let's see. So we have the King of Wands, we have the Page of Swords, and the King of Cups. We have the Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the High Priestess. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, it kind of feels though there's like something that it's like you are seeing growth. You are seeing um, changes here with the three of pentacles. It tells me like you're building something for yourself or there's a sense of stability, even if it's in a relationship. Okay. There's like a, st a sense of stability growing, but there's also some sort of like, I don't know if someone's kind of going back and forth or Maybe this Five of Cups energy is needing to kind of be processed and worked through in order to kind of move forward. Uh, we have the King of Wands, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. It's also kind of like is showing me that maybe like there could be conversation or very small amounts of communication between you and someone else. Um, you also could be like talking online with someone, okay, communicating online with someone. But I do feel like there's a sense of, like one person, whoever this, like, whoever this other person is, they're kind of holding back. They, they kind of keep going back and forth, two of pentacles and the high priestess. They kind of keep going back and forth a little bit. Uh, maybe not really expressing themselves fully. And I see that with the page of swords as well, which could be creating a little bit of like conflict. Um, but it's almost like they're just trying to stay out of the drama and this could be you as well but like trying to stay out of drama when it comes to other people okay i do feel like if there's i feel like you're wanting a relationship here but it's almost like there seems to be other people somehow involved here three of cups two uh three of cups three of pentacles we have the five of wands okay which can be competition so there's other people involved in this situation somehow. But it's almost like it's almost like the two of you are kind of like at odds as well. Like the King of Wands and the and the King of Cups, like they're facing opposite directions. So, I mean, there could be a sense of you and someone having some sort of disagreement, especially with the Five of Wands. It can be drama and conflict, like I mentioned before. So it's like, I don't know if other people are in your business or something has happened, but it's like it's, it's almost like it feels like you're trying to move beyond this a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what this uh, King of Wands is here for you, Aries. What is this King of Wands for Aries? 
It's almost like this situation is what's keeping you caught up. You're trying to grow beyond it. You're trying to move pa past it. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands is clarifying the King of Wands. So it's like you're trying to have a level of success and victory here of trying to be in a good space. Some of you are looking for a, a, a good relationship, you know, whatever that is for yourself that you're trying to achieve. I see you wanting to make progress towards it. It's like you, you're you wanting to move towards that. Um, yeah, Knight of Cups here. Some of you, it definitely could be like love or a relationship somehow, okay? Let me see what this King of Cups is doing here. Why is this King of Cups here? We have the Magician and the Nine of Cups. So this person um, who I feel you're dealing with it's almost like you're looking for growth in a situation. This person's trying to just like get what they want to have. Nine of Cups and the Magician, they could be really focused on themselves. Maybe they don't, if it's a relationship, they might not want a commitment. Um, you know, wanting to kind of like stay single. Okay. But this also could just be somebody who's trying to achieve things for themselves and just more focused on their own life as well. What's this Two of Cups here for Aries? Why is this Two of Cups here for Aries? Two of Swords, with the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's like debating on working together with you. Again, that could be like related to your situation, but it's like they're almost like not sure if they should come forward. Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles and offer you a connection. Or someone's questioning this. It could be you or them. What is this Three of Pentacles here? Tower, Page of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. This, someone's like, I almost feel like somebody says something. It could be you. You say something. You're wondering where this is going, what's happening. You know, wanting to build with this person, wanting to connect with this person. But there's a little bit of fear with that nine of swords there. It's like maybe you don't know what this person's going to say. What, yeah, what are they going to decide? What are you going to decide? You're really not wanting to be rejected by this situation or this person. Okay, so some of you might kind of put yourself out there. Um, because this situation might feel stuck or you're just like not sure where this person stands. Because I feel like with the page of uh, swords, it's like the communication's maybe been like small or not clear or like someone hasn't like fully expressed themselves here and you are wanting I see you wanting to come together with someone wanting to have some sort of a celebration a union but this person is you're not sure what this person's gonna say like you're like am I gonna be rejected or uh, is this person going to choose me so there's a little bit of fear and worry about like I might say something here and this could totally blow up in my face we have the temperance here that has come out I, this could be somebody, yeah, definitely like Six of Cups, Three of Cups, Judgment. This definitely could be somebody who is from your past or someone you're trying to reconcile with or just somebody who you maybe have a history with. Um, and I think you're just trying to figure out, like, you're really wanting to avoid drama. It's not like you're trying to cause any drama here. Why this Five of Wands for Aries? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, like not wanting any drama. But you are wanting to, to like have some sort of fresh start. Like you are, tr I feel like you're trying to avoid drama, conflict. That's the last thing that you want here. It's high priestess here for. Yeah, some of you are, are worried that like you're going to put an offer out there and this person's going to ghost you or like it's just not going to go anywhere for some of you. I feel like a lot of you are really wanting to move forward here. But there's a fear of rejection. Okay, so some of you are like, you're really wanting to, you're definitely wanting to find your counterpart. Uh, Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands. You, you're trying to find your person. You're trying to find your the queen to your king, the queen, king to your queen, whatever, however you want to look at it, right? But it's almost like there's a person here who's almost like kind of masking their emotions, okay? Or they've got other focuses in their life and you're not really sure and I feel like it's, you're not really sure where this is going and so you kind of put yourself out there and you're like i have no idea how this is going to go and i feel like it's kind of up to this person of whether they're going to accept or reject this offer here Give me one more with this three of cups and temperance 
Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords. It may move forward for some of you, but it's like you don't know the answer. I just feel like you don't know what this person's going to say. Like, are they going to hold back or are they going to take my offer? I feel like this person that you're dealing with is like maybe like hard to read. Okay. Let's see what your uh, advice is here, Aries. What is the advice for Aries this week with regards to this situation? What's Aries' advice here? We have the Knight of Cups, the Emperor. Let me one more here. And the Empress. And then we have the Six of Cups. They're definitely, I feel, is probably this like strong like soul tie. Like you have some sort of like soulmate connection or you feel that connection with this person. Um, it's just getting more clear on where they stand. So I feel like if that means you taking action and moving forward in this, then this indicates that, you know, like go for it, right? You're never going to know until you take a shot or... You know, it's like as long as you're open emotionally and o open to expressing yourself, I feel like that's what's going to allow growth and expansion here as well. Like not only this connection moving forward, but also just from a position of, you know, you're never going to know, like I was saying before, you're not going to know until you take a shot. So it's like you might have to assert yourself or kind of like express yourself in order for this situation to change or to grow or you know, for you to see where this relationship's at so that you can find your person. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully that resonates for you guys. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.